my dudes what's up it's Emily and this week there's going to be two videos I'm posting this one early and then my regular regular Thursday videos there's something that I feel needs to be talked about maybe no one else has been hearing this or experiencing this maybe it's just me maybe it's not but I just feel like I need to voice my opinion and my thoughts religion has become a very big thing. It's always been a big thing. It's always been a thing. But recently on my mind and around me I've been hearing and dealing with the situation over you know, does God care about your happiness? Does he care about you pursuing your goals? Um, and just all those kinds of things that us as humans tend to think are pretty important. Happiness to me is the most important thing besides love in this world and that's just me personally a lot of things have been on my heart recently that have just made me a very unhappy person recently I have been having to deal with pursuing my goals and doing what everybody else says God wants me to do because I'm gonna get a lot of negative text messages in the next few weeks as, as people start to watch this video and that's fine I'm prepared for that but once again, I'm going to say, this is my opinion, and that's okay. I'm a very opinionative person, and I only speak from things that I truly believe, or I truly know. So, I digress. Um, um, basically, my opinion on everything that I have had to listen to and endure recently, is you've got to do what you think in your heart is best. Whether people tell you that it's wrong or right, does it matter whether everyone tells you oh that's wrong you're going to hell for that doesn't matter I've come to terms with not letting the pressure of other people who I view as perfect Christians to tell me what is wrong and right I personally don't believe that any of us know what's going to happen to us when we're dead until we're dead there's tons of things that we can do to ensure that we're going to heaven if we believe in God and that's fine. I believe in God. I love God. He's more chill. But you can't worry so much about what's going to happen to you when you're dead, when you're alive. Because it will destroy you from the inside out. And I have come to realize that myself because I have laid in my bed for almost a month now sitting here thinking oh my god if I do anything I'm hellbound if I do anything everyone's gonna be disappointed in me and I'm not going to heaven or this or that and you're just worrying about what's going to happen to me when I'm dead because I thought that this was a game to him like it felt like he was just playing with my mind and he was just playing with my head and I just felt like my world was falling apart because I wasn't listening to my heart. I wasn't listening to what I know to be true. I wasn't listening to what I believe. I was listening to every single person who interprets the Bible and religion and life differently. When you're dead, you don't decide what happens to you. Maybe you just go into a hole in the ground and psh, that's it. Maybe you go to heaven and God determines if you stay in heaven or if you go to hell. And that, that's, that might be the case. But we don't know what's going to happen to us until we are dead. Yesterday, I DM'd one of my favorite YouTubers. Someone who inspires me to no end. Someone who has inspired me to continue with music and continue my love for music and for YouTube and for life. Um, and his name is Elliot. He's known as Lucas Elliot because his last name is impossible to pronounce. But, um, he followed me on both of my Twitters, like, last week, and I cried. Like, literally when he followed me, I was having a very bad week, and he followed me. And it just made my heart happy. And so, I DM'd him, and I basically told him that I was miserable, and that I hated life, and that I couldn't do this anymore, and that I was just not wanting to exist.
I've heard it a million times. Forget what other people think and just go with your heart. I've heard that tons of times. Like, that's not a common, I mean, that's not a rare thing. But something about the guy that inspires me and my favorite parts of my life, saying that to me personally, really just like, it, it meant the world to me. And so just hearing some of the things that he said to me really just opened my eyes and made me feel better about it because I was letting the weight of everybody else's opinions affect me and make me feel like an awful person for not being exactly the way they think I should be or exactly the way they perceive God wanting me to be. So after hearing all of these really awesome things from Elliot and just feeling really good about myself, I found some new albums that, like I said, I'm going to be talking about in this week and next week's video. Um, so finding good music, talking to Elliot, and just having a new mindset really opened my eyes. And so, maybe this video for you isn't even about religion. Maybe you don't believe in anything, but you feel lost and you don't know what to do. And everyone's telling you a million and one different things. Go with your heart. Go with what you know and what you believe to be true. Because that's the only things that we can hold credible. So yeah. Not everybody who watches this video will agree. And I will probably get some very not positive text messages in the next month or so. And that's fine. Don't let anyone and I mean anyone, put you down because your opinions on life or religion or anything are different. That is all for today. I will see you Thursday. Peace out. Stay rad. I love you. And goodbye. Stay happy, my dudes.